Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. I have seen a lot of videos of people making checkerboard games, but they be using a lot of tools, and I don't have those tools. I only have a Glowforge laser, and that's all I need. So how would I make my version of a checkerboard game using only my Glowforge? And if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I do project videos using the Glowforge 3D laser printer. And if you like those type of videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you will be notified when I drop a new video. Welcome to the project. So the first thing we gotta get together is the materials. I know I'm gonna use some walnut and mirror gold acrylic. I just love those two together. And I'm also gonna use some white acrylic because I have a lot of that. And the other wood that I'm going to use is some cherry hardwood. I got the cherry hardwood, the walnut, and the white acrylic from Glowforge. The mirror gold acrylic, I ordered it from another website. I will link it in the description below. So we're gonna head to Corel Draw, and I'm gonna show you how I'm going to design this checkerboard. Okay, now we're in Corel Draw. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create me a square. And we're going to make the square 1.25. Okay, we got our square 1.25. And I want each square, let's zoom in a little bit. And I want it to be at least an eighth inch thick in between each of my squares. So we're going to bring up the calculator and we know that it is 1.25. That's the distance from this side to this side basically the whole square. And I wanted to have 1 8 inch in between. So 1 8 inch is 0.125. So we're basically gonna add it to this. So we're going plus 0.125, and we're gonna get 1.375. So we're gonna go up here to this nudge factor right here, and we're gonna put in 1.375, like so. So let's make this a hairline. So we got it at 1.375. So we're gonna go up here, and we're gonna change to zero. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a duplicate. We're gonna go up here to edit, go down here to duplicate, or you can press Command D if you're on a Mac. So we're gonna make a duplicate. It basically put it right on top. That's what these, when we changed it to zero did. So basically press the arrow to the right, and it's gonna make the duplicate right beside it. And in between it, it is 1 8 inch thick. I hope that makes sense. But we're gonna make a duplicate again, Command D, and we're just gonna use the arrow key. And we're going to make eight of these squares. That's five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, we got eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Y'all be slow sometime. <laughs> but um, let's zoom out a little bit. And basically what we're gonna do is, we're gonna select this whole entire row. We're gonna do another duplicate and we're gonna press down. And we're gonna make eight rows of this. That's gonna create our checkerboard. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's select everything. We're going to group it together, go up here to alignment, and we're gonna center it to the page, like so. Okay, cool. So the next thing I'm going to do is create a second page and a third page. So we're gonna go over here to this first page where we just was at. We're going to select the whole entire design. And we see that we are at 10.875. So basically, what we're gonna do on this second page right here, we're going to create another square, make it a hairline. I need to change that. Make it a hairline, and we're gonna make it 10.875 by 10.875, like so. Let's go up here to alignment, center it to the page. Okay, cool. So while it's still selected, we're just gonna make a copy of it. We're gonna go back over here to the first page where we created our small squares, and we're going to edit, paste. And basically, we're gonna get this right here. We're basically gonna put a line around it. So as you can see, the checkerboard is starting to come alive. So we're gonna go over here to the Smart Field tool, and we're going to Select, put the smart, we're gonna put the smart fill tool inside of the 1 8 inch thickness that we did, like so. So it's gonna smart fill it all the way up, like that. So as you can see, this is what we're going to cut the gold acrylic out of. So we're gonna go over here to edit, and we're going to cut it out. And we're gonna go over to that third page that has nothing on it, and we're going to paste it like so, go up here to the select tool, let's put a hairline around it and we're going to unfill it. 
this is gonna be the gold acrylic and this is gonna be the white acrylic but we're going to cut it out on the edge but in the inside we're going to score it now we got to cut out the small squares that's going to go inside of these squares so we're just going to create another page and those square sizes was 1.25 by 1.25 let's make it a hairline and basically we're going to cut out 32 of these in the walnut and 32 of these in the red hardwood Okay, we got the board cut out as you can see this is the gold acrylic right here I still have the paper that I put on top and you can see this back part of it is like a gray color that's what color the back is and this is white so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of the masking paper off and I'm gonna line this up with the score lines like so and I'm going to glue it down just like this and then I'm gonna take these individually squares and I'm gonna place them inside all the way through. And I'm gonna just use some E6000 and I'm basically just gonna probably just do a squiggly line <laughs> all the way through right here. And then I'm just gonna glue it down and I'm gonna put the pieces in individually. Okay, while I let this dry, let's go ahead and design the individual pieces. So basically what I'm gonna do with the pieces is we're gonna go over here to the circle. Let's change it to a hairline. Change it to a one inch diameter circle, like so. Let's zoom in on it. And we're going to put a contour inside of it. So let's go to the contour tool and we're going to put it at an eighth inch. So one, so 0.125 and we're going to go in the inside and this is gonna be that and we're going to select it. Go up here to object and we're going to break contour apart and we're going to take this inside contour that we just created. We're gonna make a copy of it and we're going to paste we're gonna move it to the side. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to cut out the outside of it and I'm going to engrave the inside of it. And then I'm going to turn it around on the opposite side and I'm going to score it so I can see a line on it. So when I stick this piece onto the back of it, it will line up correctly in the center. So basically what I did was I turned all of these pieces over on the opposite side like so because I'm going to use this same engraved circle right here to score a circle on the back because I want the other piece to be able to line up exactly in the center. So you want to make sure that your pieces do not move. That's why I got these magnets on here so the pieces wouldn't move. <laughs> Throwback with it right now. So basically what I did was I just took this part right here and I changed this from engrave to score. And as you can see, all of the score lines is lined up. Now we're gonna score it on. Okay, we got it all cut out. So basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take one of these pieces right here and I'm going to glue it to the bottom of this piece like so. Yo, we got the pieces. Like how I use these clamps right here to dry them together. Let's open them up. So when you get crowned. The 
those are the pieces right there those are the little custom-made wood checker pieces right here came out really good let's put it together Okay, I have let this sit for a couple of hours now. It's time to take the masking paper off. I hope I got all the pieces right. I think I did. We're gonna see what it's gonna look like. Time lapse. For some reason, I thought these was kinda gonna match like the browns. I thought they was gonna be like close to the same, but now nah, you really can see the difference in it. Like this is actually lighter than the walnut. I thought it was a little bit closer, but this looks really good. Let's get the rest of the pieces. And there you have it, laser cut checkerboard. Now I really love how the walnut and that cherry wood goes with this mirror gold acrylic. I will say the checker pieces, I think I could have did better. One thing I know for sure what I would have done is instead of engraving it one time, I probably would have did two layers or two passes of engraving just to make it a little deeper. So when you get ready to stack them on top of each other, it'll lock better. That's one thing I would have did because I do like the concept that I got going on with the bottom part being able to lock inside of the top part. I do like the concept. If you have any suggestions on how I could have did the checker pieces better, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next project. Let's go make something else.